additional lecturers. Thank you. And thanks so much. Thanks so much, Gazelle, um, and um, to to Tracy and, and to Sophie. I'm looking forward to hearing Fran in a, in a bit as well. Um, I'll give a brief introduction to the book and say a few thank yous, and then I'll read a little bit from the book. So it, this is a sequence of poems and performance scores, and there's some visual collage written here as well. Um, and they're all written after, through, or towards these Renaissance songs, or chansons, which are attributed to Josquin de Pré. Um, Josquin, many of you will know his work, but if you don't, he was one of these, probably the, the most famous figures of, of early music, one of the first people to be understood as a, as a composer. He was born near Tournai, which is in present-day Belgium, and he had this life uh, traveling and living around Europe as a composer in the courts in Ferrara, Milan, uh, and in Rome, where he worked for the Pope and Sistine Chapel. So he was famous for his religious masses, um, but I became much more interested in his secular works, these much um, kind of slighter works in, in, in some senses. Um, they weren't preserved in the same way as his masses were. They weren't, you know, the way that these chansons circulated was in printed editions. It was a much wilder, um, kind of more more feral sort of production, um, often pirated or or, or dubiously attributed. Um, there were these kind of vernacular texts which circulated and made you know made some printers a lot of money. Um, but what that means is, in terms of working with that material, what you what you have to work with is much more incomplete. It's much more fragmentary. It's con contradictory. Um, it's it's blurry and it's vulgar. And I was you know. In that space, I found somewhere to, to work. I'm kind of out of that uncertainty, I suppose, because I'm not a musical scholar either. Um, and, um, and so I was making these, made these poems and performance scores, welcoming kind of accidents, mishearings, points of confusion, those kinds of things into the, into the process of making. Um, but there were also lots of sort of compositional procedures and structures which I was able to draw on from, from Josquin's own work. Um, um, I don't tend to call these poems translations per se, but I definitely enjoyed and, and, and benefited from thinking with translators. So I want to acknowledge people like uh, Kate Briggs, Jen Hoffer, Daniela Cascella, Clive Scott, and Erin Moray, whose ideas and whose texts have been really influential in the kinds of processes I've been developing here. Um, and, you know, writing of this kind, um, translatory writing, if you like, is I think, like any kind of writing, a really relational sort of act. It's something that both creates and is sustained by relationships. And there's been so many people who've been um, a hugely important part of this project over the years. It has been ongoing for, for several years. Um, if I tried to mention every single one of them, I would definitely well, we'd be here all night <laughs> and I'd miss people out. So I'm not going to do that. But I'm just so thankful to everyone who's been um, a part of this, whether through um, through conversations, through collaborating on performances, reading early drafts, um, going to look at paintings with me, publishing poems and magazines, all being part of um, the ongoing experiment of family life. And I'm so happy that these poems have found a home at Pamela Press, and I'm profoundly grateful to you, Gazelle, for all the kind of energy and enthusiasm and drive that you, that you bring to the press. And um, I also need to thank Hamed Jabeh Ha for his meticulous and hugely creative design work on the book. Um, he's done a fantastic job. And to you, Mine Kaplanga, for um, all the essential work you're doing as well for the press. So thank you, everyone who's involved in Pamela. It's really thank fantastic you. to be part of it. So I'm just going to read a few, a few from, the, from the book, um, mainly the ones which are not kind of intended for um, for multiple voices, that we will try out a little bit later on with a few voices. <clears throat> Feu d'argent. I did it for the vine, I did it for the gram. A force de batteur sent letters to salt, ligati, stochastic hammer in the ditch below the walls. I, Josquin de Prep, Joe de Pratis, otherwise JP, Josquini. Joskin Dascanio, meadowed in loose strife, quail running at the bailiff's knock, lightly through rubble, the popcorn at the end of its bell curve, the consonants dragging their ligatures, 
a long empty alpha strade, sparrow without an excuse, nor a funding proposal, nor shoes. Mm. Plan de Doe. The way a surface folds as it grows, the periodicity of wrinkles, the way a piano says umeshu, umeshu, the pressure a voice exerts. Suppose I was composed of two layers of plastic, one compressing with less effort than the other, carrying a discourse on gourds and squashes, the clarity of its harmonics. This is when folds appear, or looking absorbently at a painting in which green tries to balance black. Could one point at that and call it the start of representation of cloth? Ontogenesis is no more simple. How a strand of hair escaped, combs down to touch the lips. And now you're in the sea, not the sea of being like the real sea, salt water in your ears, gulping it down burns your throat, and the green wave moves you up it like an escalator that intends to drown. Remember, she lay laughing on her tongue in the shallows, your daughter, ghosted by coast guards. And if a gourd appears, tubby hollow zuka, spurting over the crest, of course you grab it, tuck it under her armpit, and promise her, and try not to fear the depth beneath. I give you the surface of my life. Sun rays carved past polar terminals, gusty bacantes cower, ptarmigan hawk moths overcome at lavender's flare, phosphorus under patinate dust. Lemon paste lodges arbitrate unreal and almost. Tamarisks lash, burst veined marble sauce box. The architrave has none of that. Rules and frames, distant sandstones, Cotta, cruda, called in jade, quarry landmass for balsam figments, custard valves gallop after in August hail. And a cobalt canister that rolls to balustrades, a Switzer's mask of Roman lung attacking gas, unremarked sabots, carnal pink, and purest forms, camouflage, captive state, Bundesbank chaos, safe as villas. That grotto fabula fakes it, take as dollar. That your hashtag Vita burnt real Caymans on fantasy lakes. And so now I'm going to ask um, Kazan and Shvensi if you'd like to come up and um, help me to read Nam Nape. Um, shall I go here? Yeah. Trace, if you want to go in the middle. And... Nam Nape. <coughs> <clears throat> Your creamy breath. High altitude. Dust compressed. Unrolling fall. Murder. Emergente da. Carbon twitch. Da una vasta. Starless air. A cut tongue. Quivering. Or just a hand clap. Compresses. Vagrant darters. In dolomite. One caught in airless. Favela chic. Carmes. Red time stains. Itching a vagrant anchor. The whole town. Tumulto pair. Torbo corp do drums. Tracheal cycles. Un tonante. Skimmer. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, good. Move on to something, uh, to, to a kind of more of a, a performance score. Entrez je suis is the type of this one. One, try to get the garden cane level, roundabout neck height. I'll leave it up to you. Maybe two mic stands will do it. Then you'll need a bolt of cloth to hang from it. Something really eye catching. Try Ray Stitch on Essex Road. Rig the apple, the peach, and the plums to either side. Not sure where you'll find your warty gourd, but you know what it should look like. 
smooth the cloth boards where it hits the ground to give yourself somewhere to stand and fix your cartolino by means of three drops of wax to a prominent place on the superstructure. Two, talking about corrugations, talking about oubliettes, talking about the European drumming scene. Mm -hmm. Three, swatting a fly, brushing a fly, chasing a fly away with a rag. Um, this, this next one is called Psychology uh, Pan, Amber Microcosmos Mix, and it kind of writes through um, a number of anonymous ballads, uh, as well as um, as well as a, video, a, a film work, a video work by um, the artist Pierre Fries. Some do long for pretty knacks and some for strange devices like silver plated fly piloting through pine rosin airspace, strange ship to crackle glaze, endosphere, neige en la mer, like track right, the debris constellated, a gilt craft slipstreams through in flat spin tailed by a second like rotate 90, pretty bubbles chasing to the surface marked bulbs of percussion, like shift and fracture, amphibious life forms tipped with expression and nosing, organic gunk, a strange knack, pretty as greffe de l'heure, true love's vigil for the rotate 90, blast seals, particulate amber sky, shaded dark, dark, honey, refocus, eyes to a polished mesh ball, blowed up well this bulbous cupola, fixed relative to the pretty rigour of entombed legs. Um, I'm going to do two more, so I'm going to skip back in the book to, um, to a, a prose poem called Plusia Regret. Janus faced with a silent J, or condemned to the adjective, Collapsed after frosts, exposing moon milk cavities in Tufa. 19 plus 17 plus 13 plus 11. At the start of the performance, you dip 1,000 lira notes in paste and gently layer them over the surface of your face. Line up your receipts from last month and ask yourself if there's something wrong. Iron wires and gold threads passing under water. 9 plus 19 plus 21 plus 11. A tuxedo spattered with gastric juice and mucus. The nearby volcanoes have upset the ratio of isotopes. The mathematician nicking a baboon's fibula to make her calendars. Lightly through rubble, the jewel weed popping in the heat. And this is, this, this is the last poem I'm going to read. Um, it's also the last poem um, in the book. Um, it's called Nymph de Bois. And this was the, the, the source that it comes from is um, the chanson that Josquin wrote in mourning for his own teacher, um, Ockham. And um, this poem is written through, written with um, Jackson Matlow's light poems, light words, which were this kind of matrix of words in which, which, which Matlow used to write elegies amongst many other kinds of poems. Um, so this uses those words it's in memoriam of Josquin, and he's also writing through six monochrome paintings because the, the score for the, the chanson was in black notation only as a mark of, of, of mourning and, and grief. Alive in an inkscape, broke with wishing, put your heart in a vitrine. The mountains leer, no spawn, when Issa tarp on the water wheel in the frozen pond at Ganshoin of Japanese lanterns, his little frog to live. Trenchant edges, fat on bucolics, over the poplars shaking, floating over the lake, a small clay doll, a spyglass, fountain spirits, little pliers of reason asleep, twe tariba sa trap ragged in black and ochre from the owl light. By 
dancing chalk, men drenched, St. Elmo's discharge in the rigging, stage directions. Basculating cloud light, powdery, flood of jet engines receding, batteries au bout de la jetée. Netherlandish man with infrared, fluid and carbon black, under the left eye, express chance, skull vaulting. Pure material, the end stop hiss of oil and fibres to push a paper to push a paper cup, gathering the jump, dark nimbus when she speaks in seismic with a fingernail, change your voix for clair for the wobble or pitch falls off, spreading lines to nothing, almost. <laughs>